Okay, so we have this Blink project, and we're going to import audio and MIDI into it. Uh, we want to start with the MIDI because that's going to bring in tempo data, which is, you know, if we have audio already in there, it's just going to it's going to get kind of messy. So when possible, it's best to start with the MIDI. You can either drag and drop it, or you can use the file menu. Um, but one thing I'm going to do real quick, just to kind of, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to add a, a tempo track. I'm going to change the color of it so you can see things better. Because uh, we want to see this line, and we're going to see what happens to it when we import MIDI with MIDI data. I'm going to drag this in. And we want to put it, uh, you know, at the start of the project. So you can kind of see how I'm snapping here. Boom, and so you can see what it did to our tempo map, and that's because I just did a bunch of wild, crazy stuff so that uh, it'll demonstrate uh, importing tempo. So if you've got a, a project from somebody else, and they're on a different sort of DAW, maybe they're using Logic or something, as long as they give you a MIDI file with a, a note at the beginning and a note at the very end, um, if they export that MIDI, they should be able to uh, save all of the tempo map data in that MIDI, and then when you import it, you'll have the same tempo map. Sometimes things can get a little bit weird between DAWs, but that's the general idea. It'll uh, import the tempo map, and then when you bring in the, the audio files, the multitracks, from that same session, everything should line up no fucking problem. That's generally how uh, mixing is done, like from... Uh, sets of multi-tracks or stems or whatever. Whoever's sending the audio should also send MIDI just as that uh, tempo uh, map data. If there aren't, any, if there aren't any uh, tempo changes at all, then, you know, a simple tempo indicator will do. You know, you just let, let the person know what tempo the song is at, and then everything should work. But this is a way to get a tempo map, and that's uh, how to import MIDI. Real quick, I will show you the other way to import MIDI, and that's just using this menu. Go to Import, MIDI File. Do you want to create a new project? No, because we're importing it to this one. You grab your MIDI file, hit Open, same thing happens. And there you go. If you Later on, if you're adding more songs to the project or whatever, uh, you want to go to wherever you're adding the next one. In this case, we're just going to... Use the same thing, drag and drop, boom, and we've got it again. I put the intro at the end to make it easier to skip. You're welcome. Subscribe if you'd like more stuff like this. This video series is brought to you by my friends on Patreon. If you want to learn more stuff about Cubase, but you're tired of trying to piece together information from random videos with no context to connect them, you may want to check out this playlist that walks you through an entire project from start to finish. This one. This one here. That's right, you gotta click on it though.